All right, guys, welcome back to another DragonWallZ.com battle video. First, I'm going to show you this very quick little picture. Have a look at what you see on screen. All right, this is my prediction for what's going to be coming on the sixth anniversary. These are all of the characters. I've looked at all of the Dokkan Festival banners, made, project, uh, made a proper projected guess at what we could be seeing. And from the leaks and the information that we've gotten so far, it looks like this is what we will be getting for the 6th anniversary in June time on Global Dokkan Battle. Now, let me show you guys the reason why I think this is and then we'll break down why all of these characters will most likely be coming for the banners as well. So, let me show you guys what I mean here. So, let's get that music up and running up again. Okay guys, so here we are over on the website. So, right now, we're in the Christmas, Merry Christmas Dokkan Festival. Well, this is going on right now for you guys until uh, the end. Uh, we, uh, we still have the actual uh, celebration and everything ongoing right now. So if you guys want to summon, go for it. But this is what's featured on the banner. But I don't think this banner matches, matters too much. It just goes to show that the Super Saiyan Blues, the, Go, Go, uh, the Goten and the Gohan, and these guys are here on this banner. And I do think that those uh, Super Saiyan Blues and the Goten and Gohan will be featured on the main banner for the 6th anniversary. Why? Well, you guys will find out soon. So, upcoming next on Global Dokkan Battle is we're going to be getting this Evil Freezer or Resurrected Warrior, Other Otherworld Warriors Freezer. He's coming up next along with his banner. He's going to be the leader for Resurrected Warriors, Otherworld Warriors, and he's a transforming uh, Freezer that turns into this Golden Freezer. Now, the reason why he's going to be featured on the banner is because he's related with tournament power. <laughs> In fact, his entire mechanic and everything he does is to do with the tournament of power. So his tournament power, tournament of power sort of related character. I mean here, he's even got it in his link set. So this guy is definitely going to be on the sixth anniversary banner because it, it, the sixth anniversary is all to do with tournament of power, the Ultra Instinct Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta. So he's definitely going to be coming. This is his banner. This is what's going to be coming on the global side of the game. Now I say skip, 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 skip because I think all of these characters will be coming for the 6th anniversary. Uh, especially when it comes to Beerus, uh, the the uh, Goku, Spirit Bomb Goku, you, you know he's coming back. And Kula. These four characters here, you can expect them to be coming back on the 6th anniversary. I, I know that as a fact because these guys are literally massive leaders. So we've got Freezer, who's turned out of power. We've got Beerus, he's Realm of God's leader. Guys, you know as a fact, anytime you summon on a big anniversary banner there will always be a character that's a leader for something else which is someone to on the banner and a lot of the characters from Tournament of Power are also in Realm of Gods so it makes good sense that Beerus will be coming back same with uh, Goku he's a Universal Survivor Saga leader so it makes sense he's coming back and transforming Kula why because we've got freezers and all bunch of other characters that will fit on the team and transformation boost is a massive team so cooler is definitely going to be coming back so this is the actual freezer banner it's an amazing banner but do skip this because i'm telling you sixth anniversary if you can wait go ahead and start saving your stones i'm probably going to be summoning on this banner because this banner is really really good okay uh and then next up we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, so he's going to be coming out. So here's a look at Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Great 8 Power and Shadow Dragon Saga. Now, he doesn't really fit on the whole Tournament of Power theme, but to put a really cool hype character in, you'd have to put Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta in. Also, Kefla. Kefla's Tournament of Power, this guy is like a Fusion and Kefla is Patara. So usually they do something with Fusion and Patara. So it makes sense, and then all you know, we have the actual and uh, the big 350 million download celebration, uh, Vegito and Boo Super Boo. Those two, two, those two guys will be coming back. So this guy's absolutely a powerhouse. He's just completely ridiculous. It only makes sense that they make an LR of uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta that turn into LR uh, uh, LR version of this guy. That would be what we want, but. I'm probably guessing that's probably what they're saying for the 8th anniversary or the 7th anniversary because I don't think they're going to release something that massive and we need a haul of GT characters but yeah this is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and this is his banner as you guys can see yet again Kefla is featured on his banner so Protara and Fusion this is why I do think these two will be coming on the actual big anniversary and we have a return of Goten and Gohan so you guys are seeing a pattern here you're seeing a pattern 
you're seeing a pattern of what characters they are. So there's a pattern here as well. A pattern of characters. There's a pattern here, guys. Pay attention to the pattern. So if this makes sense to you, then what I'm about to show you up next is going to make even more sense. So Bojack is going to be is, uh, the banner that came out lost on JP. And he's space traveling and time traveler. So space traveling warriors and time travelers. Now Bojack, we, we got the Gohan super early the gohan the super saiyan 2 gohan that we just got on the global side of the game uh on the divine dragon carnival we weren't meant to get that until later on down the line so i'm thinking they're gonna plan to bring out a big lr during bojack's celebration because they're gonna bring out something to entice us before the sixth anniversary and bojack's celebration most likely for us global players will be, literally be just before the sixth anniversary uh here's a look at the bojack banner itself so we've got the return of Gohan, Tech Gohan. So he's most likely not going to be summoned. Uh, same with Bardock. So these guys are probably not going to be coming back because this banner is too close to the actual sixth anniversary for these guys to be coming back. And now, right now, on the, uh, <laughs> I wish I could zoom in. Right now, we have the Janemba and Pai Kuhan celebration, and the fifth anniversary LRs and the third anniversary LRs have returned. So has all the Gogetas and all the Vegetos, they've all returned as well. And then so has the Fat Boo and the Gotenks that transform. So if all of those characters have come back, you know most of the characters on these two banners will not be summonable on the 6th anniversary banner because that's what's going to be coming up afterwards. So it only makes sense that these characters that are available now will not be summonable because usually they only bring up characters that won't be coming back before a massive celebration. So, uh, here's a look at the brand new Pai Kohan. He does his own, uh, he's connected hopes and a super class leader, which is amazing. Super class for 130%, that's massive. And then, um, so it, it only makes sense that we have a super class and an extreme class leader for the actual big sixth anniversary. So we have Trunks and Zamasu. So uh, they're Realm of Gods and Future Saga. So, you know, it kind of fits in quite nicely. And then we also have the Janemba, which is the Extreme Class Leader and Mind and Body Erosion. Two massive teams that will be coming out soon. Now, let me show you guys exactly what I mean by this is what's going to be coming up. So, have a look. This is the infographic which I made. Over on the left side, we've got Evolution Blue Vegeta. Right? And then over on the right side, yeah, we have the big man himself, Ultra Instinct Goku. Now, I've separated the two banners and made most sense out of what I think will be coming for the 6th anniversary. I think it's going to be a final explosion, Evolution Vegeta, probably going to be transforming from a Super Saiyan uh, Blue Vegeta all the way up to Evolution and then probably final explosion will probably do his, his massive attack. And then over on the right side, Ultra Instinct Goku, it might be a standalone or it might be a transforming. It'd, make, uh, it'd be really awesome if it was a standalone because we don't have standalone Ultra Instinct Goku. We do have the transforming uh, Ultra Instinct uh, Goku sign into Master UI, but we don't have a standalone. So, for the LRs, on the Ultra Instinct Goku banner, I'll put Vegito, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and LR Gohan and Goten. Why? Because it's uh, Goku's family is Ultra Instinct Goku so it makes sense if they put Goku's family characters on there as well and usually this is the return of the 350 million download celebration characters it's the same thing that they did on the actual fifth anniversary where we had Gohan and Cell return well this makes sense that we have Boo and Vegeta return so they will be coming back I, I do think they'll be on the banner I do think they'll be on the banner guys this is my prediction if you do think i'm wrong let me know in the comment section down below now uh on the goku banner so we put gohan and goten i put jiren because he's a universal survivor saga leader uh, so it only makes sense and it's a eternal power sort of themed sixth anniversary and we've got ultra instinct goku and then i've put beerus beerus is the leader for uh realm of gods so it makes sense we have a lot of realm of gods characters here goku himself is realm of gods so it only makes sense that they put a realm of gods character there then I've put the actual transforming Goku, Spirit Bomb Goku. It, he hasn't come back in a while and it would make sense uh, because uh, by the time that the actual anniversary comes around, he wouldn't have been around for about four months. So it makes sense that 
the Sprit Bomb Goku will be returning. He's a Universal Survivor Saga and representative of Universe 7 leader, so it makes sense. And I've also put Kepler, which is a Universal Survivor Saga and uh, Universe 6 leader. Now put Trunks, Future Saga, and Superclass. So I do think this makes a lot of sense compared to what we have. A lot of the characters kind of mishmash with each other and makes sense. Over on the uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta side, I'll put LR uh, Transforming Blue and put LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. So, and then we also got Evolution Blue Vegeta and Goku as an LR as well. So I'll put those three LRs on there because they do make a lot of sense. A Universal Survivor Saga and Universe 6 Leader is hit. We've got Pure Saiyan's Leader and Evolution Blue Vegeta. If you don't manage to pull the main LR, then it's probably going to be that one that you're going to pull. And then I'll put Zamasu, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Those two guys uh, are really massive characters, especially Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. He's gigantic. It doesn't make sense for him to be on this banner, but I do think that they want to entice you more to someone on the Vegeta banner because everyone usually thinks of Ultra Instinct Goku and they think, why should I have someone on the, Gogeta, on the Vegeta banner? Well, they'd usually put something big there for you to summon on. So the big draw on the Goku banner is the Beerus. Meanwhile, on the Vegeta banner, uh, it makes sense for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Because we do have the Super Saiyan 4s. So it makes sense that Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would be on one of these banners. And then we've got the Tournament Power Freezer. And we've got a massive leader in Final Form Cooler Transformation Boost and everything. So this is what I think is going to be coming to the 6th anniversary. These are my predictions and it's up to you guys if you should summon right now or if you should save. If you need any of these characters on the screen here, uh, my advice is to you that I've been playing Dokkan for the past 4 years, right? So it only makes sense that these characters will be returning. So it, it makes a lot of sense that these characters will be coming back and this will most likely be the structure of the 6th anniversary. And there are, there is going to be a following LR banner, but it could be like this. Now, uh, there is a high chance that Dokkan could completely decide to flip everything out on us. Uh, they could completely change around all the banners and the summons and everything that they're doing. We don't know what could be coming up next, but that is my most educated guess. So up next on the global side of the game, we do have this Evil Freezer. Then we'll be getting this Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Then we're going to be getting the Bojack. And then after Bojack, we'll be getting the actual Janemba, uh, Paikohan and Janemba. So that's what's going to be coming on the global side of the game before the 6th anniversary. Now, they could throw in a little wrench in there. Something a bit more enticing. Something to get us all interested. We don't know what it could be. It could be anything. Because when it comes to summons, it's all crazy. But I do advise for you guys to still summon on this Divine Dragon Carnival banner. The reason why I advise that is because it's double bait or double rates banner. Double rates banners only come out like pretty much once a year so the vine dragon carnival banner go ahead summon for it it's double rates you have a 20 percent chance instead of 10 percent chance of pulling an lr so go ahead and summon for this banner anyways guys if you found this video interesting and you like my prediction you like what you see on the screen here please do leave a like uh, on the video Put a comment in the comment section down below if you do not think that this is what's going to be coming on the 6th anniversary. But I do think a final evolution, a final explosion uh, Blue Vegeta is going to be coming and an Ultra Instinct Goku, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku is going to be coming. That's what I think are going to be coming for the actual big 6th anniversary. You guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the banners. Let me know if you'll be summoning for the 6th anniversary. And hey, if you think I'm wrong, just let me know in the comment section down below. As always, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Um, stay tuned for plenty more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle content. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.